What if I told you that the key to exploring distant stars might already be in our grasp? Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into the realms of futuristic technology and beyond. Today, we're embarking on a journey through space, guided by the cutting-edge advancements in propulsion systems that could one day take us to other star system. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on groundbreaking tech. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below about which propulsion system fascinates you the most or any other aspect you find intriguing. Let's start with the basics before we go deeper. Propulsion systems are what make spacecraft move. Traditionally, these systems have relied on chemical rockets, which are powerful but limited by the amount of fuel they can carry and their efficiency in deep space. To reach the stars, we need something far more advanced. And that's where advanced propulsion systems come into play. One of the most promising technologies is the ion propulsion system. Unlike chemical rockets, which burn fuel to generate thrust, ion propulsion uses electric fields to accelerate ions, basically charged particles, to incredibly high speeds. This method produces much less thrust compared to chemical rockets, but it does so far more efficiently, allowing spacecraft to accelerate over a longer period. NASA's Dawn spacecraft is a prime example, having successfully used ion propulsion to travel to and study the asteroid belt. Imagine ramping up this technology to power an interstellar probe. The efficiency of ion propulsion could potentially enable missions lasting decades, slowly but surely propelling spacecraft to neighboring star systems. Next, let's discuss nuclear propulsion, which could be a game-changer for interstellar travel. There are primarily two types, nuclear thermal and nuclear electric propulsion. In nuclear thermal propulsion, a nuclear reactor heats a propellant, typically hydrogen, and expels it through a rocket nozzle to produce thrust. This method promises much higher efficiency and thrust compared to traditional chemical rockets. Imagine a spacecraft reaching Mars in a fraction of the time it takes today. On the other hand, nuclear electric propulsion involves a nuclear reactor generating electricity, which then powers an electric thruster, like an ion engine. This approach combines the high efficiency of electric propulsion with the substantial energy output of nuclear reactors. The potential for extended missions with consistent power output makes it ideal for deep space exploration. And now, let's talk about something truly out of science fiction, the concept of antimatter propulsion. Antimatter is the opposite of regular matter, and when the two meet, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy. This reaction is incredibly powerful, far exceeding the energy densities of chemical or even nuclear reaction. If we could harness antimatter for propulsion, we could theoretically achieve velocities approaching a significant fraction of the speed of light. The challenges here are immense though. Producing and storing antimatter is extraordinarily difficult and expensive. However, the potential rewards make this an area of ongoing research and fascination. Now, let's move on to a propulsion concept that's been gaining attention, solar sails. These work similarly to the sails on a boat, but instead of wind, they are pushed by light, mainly from the sun. Light has momentum, and when it hits the large, mirror-like sails of a spacecraft, it transfers some of that momentum, propelling the craft forward. Solar sails can accelerate gradually, but given enough time, they can reach incredibly high speeds. The Japanese Icaros mission demonstrated this technology on a small scale, and there are ambitious plans like Breakthrough Starshot, which proposes sending tiny probes to neighboring star systems using powerful lasers to push solar sail. Another fascinating area is fusion propulsion. Nuclear fusion is the process that powers our sun, involving the fusion of atomic nuclei to release vast amounts of energy. If we can create controlled fusion reactions in a spacecraft engine, we could potentially have a propulsion system capable of providing enormous thrust with relatively small amounts of fuel. There are various concepts for fusion propulsion, including inertial confinement and magnetic confinement, both of which are being actively researched. The potential here is enormous, not only for interstellar travel but for revolutionizing space travel within our solar system as well. 
Moving on, let's delve into exotic propulsion theories that currently dwell at the crossroads of science and speculative fiction. One such concept is the Alcubierre warp drive, which stems from the equations of general relativity. This theoretical drive involves compressing space in front of the spacecraft and expanding it behind, effectively allowing the craft to surf a wave of warped spacetime. This method could enable faster than light travel without violating the laws of physics. While this concept is far from practical realization and requires exotic matter with negative energy densities, it tantalizes the imagination of physicists and science fiction fans alike. Equally fascinating is the concept of a black hole drive, sometimes referred to as a Kugelblitz drive. This would involve creating a tiny artificial black hole and harnessing the Hawking radiation it emits for propulsion. The energy output from this radiation could theoretically provide enormous thrust, enabling interstellar voyages. Of course, the technological hurdles to creating and controlling a black hole are beyond our current capabilities, but the theoretical foundation provides a glimpse into what might be possible with future advancement. Another speculative but intriguing idea is the concept of using wormholes for interstellar travel. Wormholes are theoretical passages through space-time that could create shortcuts between distant points in the universe. If humanity could discover or create stable wormholes, it could make interstellar travel almost instantaneous. However, current understanding of physics suggests that creating and stabilizing such structures would require forms of matter and energy that we have yet to discover or harness. Let's not forget the potential of directed energy propulsion. This involves using ground-based or space-based lasers to propel spacecraft. Such systems could send high-energy laser beams to a spacecraft equipped with a light sail, pushing it to incredible velocity. This method has the advantage of not requiring the spacecraft to carry its own fuel, significantly reducing its weight and increasing its potential speed. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot aim to use directed energy propulsion to send tiny probes to the Alpha Centauri star system, potentially achieving travel times of just a few decades. Before we conclude, it's worth mentioning the importance of hybrid propulsion systems that combine multiple advanced technologies to optimize performance for interstellar mission. For instance, a spacecraft might use chemical rockets to reach orbit, ion propulsion for deep space navigation, and solar sails or directed energy for acceleration to interstellar speed. Hybrid systems could offer a balanced approach, leveraging the strengths of each technology to achieve the most efficient and effective propulsion solution. In summary, advanced propulsion systems for interstellar travel represent a frontier at the intersection of current technology and future possibilities. From ion propulsion and nuclear options to the exotic realms of antimatter, solar sails, fusion and theoretical warp drives, the path to the stars is being paved by the relentless pursuit of innovation. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, each of these technologies brings us one step closer to turning interstellar dreams into reality. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things futuristic technology. We're excited to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below on which propulsion system you think will take us to the stars. Until next time, keep looking up and dreaming big.